there are basically just a few things you need to know about electronics. There are two types of power, AC, which stands for alternating current, and DC, direct current. Obviously, electronics is a little hard to you know, show because you can't touch or feel it. So I can give you some examples of how to learn what it is. Alternating current, if you were to look at it on a, a screen, a TV screener, whatever, would look like this. Alternating current comes from actually, you buy it from the, you know, the utilities. And uh, the most common voltage is 110 or 120 volts AC. Direct current, and again, the only reason you need to know any of this is because our components are rated accordingly, and they're used according to this kind of thing. The other type of electricity, or type of electricity, is direct current, DC. And it looks like this on a, a, a scope, like a battery, like a battery for a flashlight, battery for your camera, or any kind of battery, and they need to be recharged. That's the the problem, the difference between AC and DC power is DC has to be recharged. AC you can just buy for you know cents per kilowatt. But those are the only two types of you know electricity. So, and then there's just a few other key things that'll come up. And again, most of our components are rated a, w with a different type of power. You cannot run an AC component on DC power, and you can't run a component that is made for the other. One is designed for one type of electricity and one is the other. It'd be like your flashlight. You can't plug your flashlight in if it's got a battery and vice versa. So there are just a couple other key things that will ever come up in, in what we're selling. So voltage and amperage. We were just speaking about voltage. So there's two kind of quick stories to explain the difference between voltage and amperage. Voltage is quickness and amperage is power. So the two examples that my college professor gave me was, you know, how much power? You're at the gym lifting weights, and you're on the bench press, and you, how fast you can push up the weights is what voltage is. How much the weights are is the amperage. So if you were to load, you know, a ton of plates on the bench press, and you were to press it, you know, you have a lot of amperage, and the voltage is how quick you move it. If you had no, you know, no weight and you moved it quick, it would be a lot of voltage, but it's not a lot of amperage. The other, the other example that you can use is running a garden hose. If you, the faster you turn on the water is the voltage. How big the garden hose, hose is is the amperage. If you had just a little straw and you turn on the water, it's a lot of voltage, no amperage. But if you, turn on a, if you had a huge you know, tu pipe or tube and you turn on the water, it could actually knock someone over and kill them. So basically, there's only voltage and amperage, and that's all there is. Every electrical engineer, every electrician, they, they use nothing else other than voltage or amperage. And everything else from there. Now, why do you even need to know this? Our components are rated according to voltage and amperage, and that's all the two things they are. So, you know, some of the, you know, some of the more common voltages and amperages, 120 volts AC, that's what most of your home appliances run on. And again, there's your volts, and 24 volts DC. Now, components will be rated according to size or, or carrying power. So it could be a 10 amp connector or a 30 amp connector. And again, that's all there is. It's either going to be the type, you know, an AC or DC component, the, the number, and then the, the amperage. And again, that's all we'll ever deal with. In. And if, if an electrician doesn't know this, we don't want to sell it to them anyway because they're obviously confused. But that's, that's Electronics 101.